Hello. Confirmation of identity of analyte in the sample uh, starts from the liquid chromatographic data. Although liquid chromatographic data alone is not sufficient for uh, unambitious identity confirmation, it is still required. Without adequate chromatographic separation, uh, the identity confirmation is not complete. For identity confirmation, we can use several types of liquid chromatographic data. Most uh, of all, the retention time is used, but also peak shape and altered chromatographic conditions. Retention time uh, can um, be uh, limited in, in several ways. For example, uh, SANCO uh, and European Commission validation guidelines uh, require that the retention factor of the chromatographic peak must be at least one. It means that the retention time of the analyte must be at least twice the system dead time. Uh, the retention times of the analyte in sample and in standard solution must not differ by more than 0.2 minutes. And uh, the ratio of retention times of analyte and internal standard must uh, correspond to that of standard solution within a tolerance of 2.5%. So for retention times we have quite uh, straightforward limitations. Uh, peak shape is um, a bit more hard to assess and therefore there are only a qualitative uh, re uh, requirement set. So peak shape of the analyte uh, must correspond uh, to the peak shape of analyte in the standard solution. And if isotopically labeled internal standard is used, then the peak shape of the analyte and its internal standard must match. Uh, sometimes the uh, peak shape uh, depends on the sample matrix and in these cases matrix matched standard solutions uh, are helpful or isotopically uh, labels internal standards are used. Uh, Altered chromatographic conditions are uh, used uh, uh, to demonstrate that no additional peaks appear in the chromatogram uh, after um, modification of the chromatographic conditions. Also, retention times of analyte in sample and in the standard solution should remain the same. Uh, chromatographic conditions which uh, can be altered uh, are columns and ideally uh, different chemistry of columns is used. Then we can make a change in solvents and one powerful uh, variation can be uh, pH change of solvent. And gradient steepness and temperature can also be changed.